Today, I'm gonna show you a super easy way to create a fly through text animation in Final Cut Pro. On your timeline, just push Control T to get the text item that you want. Go ahead and type in whatever you like. Then you're gonna wanna scale it and position it to your final destination. From there, we're gonna go down to the bottom left and locate the crop tool. Click on this down arrow and select crop. You can also achieve that with Shift C. From there at the bottom, you'll see that we have the trim, crop, and Ken Burns tool. Go ahead and select the Ken Burns tool. In here, you will see that there is a green box and a red box. The green box is the start of the zoom animation. The red box is the end of the zoom animation. Go ahead and shrink that red box down to as small as it could possibly go. Then drag that red box to wherever you want to zoom in on your text. After that, go to the upper right hand corner and push done. If you play through, we should have this nice smooth animation. But you'll notice at the end, we don't quite fill up the entire frame with the letter. And it's going to be very important that the entire frame is filled up with this white color. Let's go back a few frames here. Then we'll go into our video inspector and find these scale parameters. Go ahead, click to add a keyframe and then slide forward to where the animation should end and scale it up until the entire frame is filled up with that letter. Now Final Cut Pro might get a little bit buggy when it's trying to render this out. It seems to get confused for some reason. But now we should have our frame totally filled up with this letter. Now you will notice an issue if I push play We'll slowly zoom in on this R and then all of a sudden at the end, it's almost like it shifts in the second gear and goes way faster and slightly changes direction of where it's zooming. That is because Final Cut Pro doesn't have any sort of easing on the scale options. So I'm gonna show you a quick workaround with a free plugin from Alex4D. I'll have a link down below. If you don't wanna bother using the scale parameters directly in Final Cut Pro because they are not as optimal as they should be, go ahead and install that free plugin from Alex4D. We'll get the Alex4D curve scale. We'll go ahead and apply that onto our title. Then we'll go back a few frames and you'll notice that there is this reticle here. That reticle indicates where the scale is going to happen from. So if I up the scale, you'll notice everything is scaling out from where that reticle is. That is the anchor point. We're gonna need to adjust that anchor point to be in the proper zoom position. Normally I would just click and drag directly on it. However, because this is a title, if I do that, it's going to actually move the title. So we're gonna need to go over into our video inspector and find the center option options here and we'll go ahead and adjust the X parameter until it gets roughly into place. And if it's sliding too fast, go ahead and push option. That will actually slow down the reticle and you can get a little bit finer adjustments. We'll move it to there and then we'll move it vertically until it's properly into position. After that, we'll go ahead and click to add a keyframe on our scale parameter, move to the very end. We'll go back one frame and then we can scale it all the way up until the entire frame is filled up with that letter. So now our animation should play all the way through. However, it's actually going to still have the same results. So we need to add in the easing. To add the easing, we'll right click on our title and select show video animation, also achieved with control V. In here, you will see the two keyframes that we have just added, but you'll also notice an extra icon in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and you will see this nice straight line that is the linear animation taking place on our scaled object. To change the easing on it, right click on that line and select ease. Now we will have a nice smooth animation. You can go ahead and push control V again to hide all of those video parameters. And if we push play, we should have this nice slow smooth in zoom. Now we actually want this text to be a cutout object revealing the background behind it. So to do that, selecting your text, go on over to the right side and locate the compositing options. Under blend mode, we are going to change it from normal over to stencil luma. Now, if you have text that you are working with that has a specific color, you may want to change it over to stencil alpha, but in this case, I'm going to use stencil luma. And just like that, we now have our cut out text. If you want to change the background from this black background over to maybe a colorful option, you have a couple different ways you could do that. One is to select your text object and the video lying underneath, right click and select new compound clip. However, if you don't wanna deal with compound clips, you can push command control one to get up your browser here. Go ahead and locate the background of your dreams and drag that background on top of everything. From there, go on over to the right hand side under blend mode and change it from normal 
over to behind. Now Final Cut Pro is going to look at the alpha values of the subscribe text and background, and it's going to apply that minimal background behind everything, even though on your primary timeline, it is on top of everything. If this video was helpful, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may want to check out this video where I show you 11 free plugins for Final Cut Pro, including the one we used from Alex4D. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.